Hi, this is the National Weather Service Office in Medford with a smoke impacts briefing, September 10, 2020, about one o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, request, of course, please turn on your sound for most complete information. And here we're just gonna give you an update on the smoke impacts across the area, what's causing it, uh, maybe provide some safety tips and an outlook into what we think is gonna happen in the future. I wanna say that we can't imagine what some are going through right now due to the wildfires in the region and all that's occurred with them. Our sympathy goes out to those who have been impacted by these fires. And we really appreciate and understand all the hard work that the emergency personnel have done to keep us safe during these situations. So thank you. And we're gonna get into some of the fires, ongoing fires. Here's the latest, and we call kind of heat signatures satellite uh, imagery or satellites move over the earth several times a day that provide these. Uh, the red is the most recent heat and I'll just zoom in here briefly. Here is the Slater fire and you can see the heat here. The yellow is the oldest heat and the, the red is the, the most recent. Now it made a fire uh, in the Rogue Valley open chain. Sorry if I can't remember every one of these fire names, 242 fire here, the fire near Diamond Lake. And then I think this is the Archie Creek fire or French Creek according to this, but the, the fire east of Roseburg um, and the heat associated with that. So these are the fires and the, the kind of the recent heat associated with them and uh, this, we're getting lots of smoke from these fires. So let's take this is current satellite image showing, it shows us a lot of things. It shows us, it even shows us kind of the idea where the stratus and low clouds are, maybe some fog over the waters that where that uh, more white imagery is. And then the more, um, a little transparent imagery is the smoke east of there. The red is the, the fire activity, the heat coming off the fires and uh, the yellows are the, the, the hottest temperatures there. So you can see the fires and the smoke coming from them. You see recently a, a little extra heat on that open chain recently, new heat on that fire and then out towards Paisley, more fire. So uh, less smoke east, uh, you know, South Central Oregon, Eastern Oregon, of course, more smoke Western Oregon. The winds are beginning to shift. We've had easterly winds on from east to west for days and the winds will begin to shift from west to east uh, during the afternoon. They're already beginning to do that. You can see a little smoke pushing east. So here's the, the satellite image with that. I want to show you how to look at the air quality in your area. If I just simply type in fire, Dot airnow.gov and it'll show me a big map. You're going to zoom in to your area, to our area here. And this is nice because it shows kind of the low cost personal air quality sensors that people have these days. And it also shows the more permanent, higher quality sensors out there. You click on this layer, I can remove the smoke plume extent. I don't really need that and maybe you can lose the satellite detection and the, the, where the fires are just to focus in the air quality. So the worst air quality is the maroon. It's nice because you can click on this question mark. It shows the air quality index. And uh, the, the, the best air quality seems to be, if you can call it best, at the coast. Um, and then again, uh, southeastern portions are forecast area in Modoc County and parts of Siskiyou County. So th this in general should get worse with time. I want to give you a couple more resources, oregonsmoke.blogspot.com. That will provide some good resources for Oregon. And for California, californiasmokeinfo.blogspot.com. Provide some good info there. Let's take a look briefly at the smoke forecast here. 
go back to the beginning. Okay, so this is a uh, valve this morning. And to orient ourselves, here's the Southern Oregon coast, uh, Jackson County, Douglas County, Josephine County, Siskiyou County, and then out east, Modoc County, Lake and Klamath County. So I'll keep the cursor kind of over Medford. Moving into the morning, you can see that smoke, the dense smoke stays generally, you know, Medford West, but uh, it will spread east with time. So you see this afternoon and evening uh, really gets bad. Smoke is transported across the forecast area. All that smoke that we saw over the oceans being pushed east and from the fires being pushed east and maybe a, a little, you know, improvement or better conditions towards the coast. But uh, move into tomorrow morning, what we'll wake up to maybe tomorrow, really bad. Bad air quality, bad smoke across most of the forecast area. We have air quality alerts and air pollution advisories out for all of our uh, zones in Oregon and California will be impacted as well. And as we move into uh, tomorrow afternoon, so Friday afternoon, not much improvement, still a lot of those purples, which is about the worst you can get. This is near surface smoke. Again, maybe some improvement towards the coast tomorrow afternoon. And then moving into, um, that'd be, I guess, uh, Saturday morning, the 12th, uh, bad as well. So not much improvement at all through Saturday morning at least. Now, going farther out or further out in time, let's go back to the presentation here. Saturday and Sunday, smoke is highly dependent on fire activity, but we do expect smoke impacts anywhere where you see the orange. So maybe at the coast, maybe a little better, but in general, pretty bad. Also Sunday, we have a system approaching from the west. Um, winds are gonna increase from the south and southwest on Sunday. So there are potential fire weather concerns associated with that. Because we'll stay dry, especially east of the Cascades, we'll start to stay dry. But humidity will be increasing west of the Cascades over time, so that's good. So here's some smoke safety tips. And again, those other resources, uh, we'll give you some in a second too. You can look at those as well. And here you go. Here's the general categories. When you start to see the hazardous category maroon, that's... that's uh, deserves your attention, significant amount of attention, but of course uh, it can be unhealthy in lower categories as well. So, so you can bookmark these spots, that fire.arnow.gov for the uh, air quality observations. And then there's the two blog blogs for Oregon and California smoke. Now, is there some relief on the horizon? Um, it is September. Our generally average first rainfall is mid to late September. Uh, for uh, at least for the Cascades West, um, I think for the Medford area specifically. And so we're looking out, uh, yes, some models show some precipitation moving in next week. Uh, and uh, some of the solutions we look at um, don't. So we kind of have to um, gauge, there's lots of data out there, lots of model data to, to, to um look at and often these very dry air masses that we're experiencing right now sometimes systems weather systems can move in and kind of get eaten up by these systems and being and be weakened but uh all this to say that tuesday through thursday there's we're looking at a 50 percent chance of of uh some rainfall at the coast roseburg area and illinois valley so those points westward and decreasing chances as you move east of that area. So uh, there is some hope on the right horizon, especially humidity is gonna be increasing um, for sure. Uh, temperatures will be decreasing, but how much rain we get, still a question. Stay tuned, please. Thank you for your time and uh, we'll keep you updated.